The Kelver Distillery Complex off Washington Boulevard opened shortly after the end of Prohibition, producing top-shelf American whiskey. When it closed in 2015, workers were laid off and the site's future was unknown. The administrator of our county liquor board used to be a salesman for Diageo. And he was the guy who said, you know what, I still have contacts with them. Why don't we make this pitch and talk about the idea? And, and they did. Now the historic property will transform into this, a Guinness brewery, tap house, and visitor center the first American Guinness facility in 63 years. It's a great opportunity for tourism, a great opportunity to bring jobs back here to Baltimore County. The new tourist attraction will be an American version of the popular Open Gate Brewery in Dublin, Ireland. The company says a $50 million investment will lead to about 40 manufacturing jobs and another 30 workers to cater to visitors. It's just really exciting because, you know, people are going to obviously flock here now as well and all the other Irish pubs in Baltimore. The manager of James Joyce in the Inner Harbor, who's from Ireland, is a true black custard aficionado, anxious to try the American-made variety of his favorite brew. I can't wait to try it now. I'll be very, very curious to see what it's like, you know. But um, I know the Guinness here is very, very good. I think it stands up very well, you know, but the Guinness in the brewery was spot on. The president of the company also told me there'll have to be a slight change to state law before this project gets up and running. There is currently a consumption cap in the state of Maryland, which equals about 125,000 pints of Guinness. Their research indicates that won't be nearly enough beer for all the visitors they're expecting. Adam May, WBAL, TV 11 News.